Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some three frequently asked iPhone questions and I have the questions on my phone and I'm actually going to be looking on my phone to read the questions and then I'll answer them to you guys. So let's check this out. So the first question is must have iPhone app. So you can try Demuse in case you want an alternative for Spotify and then Apple Music. You can try Demuse. And the next one I'm going to share with you is Paka. So Paka is an application which is going to help you know how to do everything when you are trying to travel, how you would know to pack your things, how you'd be able to know the time you need to set off and all that. Paka is actually going to do everything for you by just typing in the location and how many days you want to spend. It will actually do the preparation and everything what you need to pick and all. This app is actually very great. So in case you want to get some applications, you can just try Paka and then Demuse. I'm actually going to do a separate video on apps I use on my iPhone. So in case you want to just see that video, just don't forget to subscribe and also stick around so that when that video comes live, you are not going to miss it. Let's check out the next question, which is any VPN for iPhones. So with VPN for iPhones, it has actually be one of the questions people do ask most often. And I'm going to be suggesting Winscribe. Winscribe is one of the best VPNs I've actually used. And they give you 15 gigabytes when you sign up. That's what I got when I signed up. I don't know how much gigabyte you're going to be given nowadays, but they gave me 15 gigabytes when I signed up. And then after that 15 gigabyte, they give you every month, they'll actually give you another 15 gigabytes. So in case you don't use everything in a month, you are going to get a new 15 gigabytes when you just use it and you have free locations but in case you want to get other locations which are not free you need to pay for that and i think with the experience i've gotten if you're even paying for the premium version to get the other locations unlocked you are really going to like it because this vpn is actually very reliable and i've been using it for ages and i use it all across my phones from my android to my iphone to my laptop i use inscribe in case i want to just turn off my location or switch my location to anywhere i want it to be so try inscribe and that's it so the next question is app instead of iphone photo so in case you use an apple and then you want to get any photo app instead of iphone photos i'm going to suggest google photos i have used a google pixel 2 for a while now and this Google Photos is actually very great because when you download Google Photos, you get 15 gig. Unlike iPhone Photos, that gives you 5 gig. Google Photos gives you 15 gigabytes. So in case you log in with your Google email after downloading the app, you're going to get 15 gigabytes, which you're going to be able to use in saving your photos and everything. And this one also has a feature which is actually now coming to iPhone photos, you're going to be able to see where your documents are. You, you see screenshots, you screen books and magazines. If you have books and magazines in your photos, it will actually just categorize everything there. And then you're going to see information, event information, identity. If you have ID cards and all that, it will just separate everything for you. Notes, payment methods, receipts, recipe and menus, and then social media. So this is one thing you are going to like about it. And everyone you have in your photos you are entitled to just see people and then you can even edit their names and anytime you want to get a photo of that person you just tap on their hand faces and then you're going to get every photo of that person and that is pretty much very cool you have places too where you're going to be able to see wherever you've taken a photo in case you had your location turned on at the time you're taking the pictures you can see it in google photos so in case you want to just try any app apart from iPhone photos, you can try Google photos, which is very, very great. If you found this video very helpful, just let me know in the comment section so that I'll actually be doing more of frequently asked iPhone questions and also more frequently asked Android questions, which is probably going to be my next video. So don't forget to like this video up and don't forget to follow me on my other socials in case you see this video there too. And don't forget to share with your friends whom you think this is actually going to be very important for them and very helpful for them too. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Peace.